we present Samurai, shape and material from unconstrained real-world arbitrary image collections. In this work, we propose to reconstruct realitable 3D models from unposed online image collections. Images in the collections can have varying backgrounds, illuminations as well as unknown camera intrinsics as well as poses. As seen in our results here, the reconstructed 3D assets behave plausibly in different illuminations. Our reconstructions can be used in several graphics applications. Here, we insert a sample 3D asset that is automatically obtained by Samurai into an augmented reality environment. Our explicit shape and BRDF decomposition enables editing the materials on the Learn 3D assets. Here, we change the truck material into gold or we can also edit the colors. We can also insert our assets in games or movies where they blend in nicely with the given environment. We can also use the reconstructions for object interactions and physics simulations. Our method is based on NERF, which optimizes a neural volume from multi-view images. Color and densities of 3D coordinates are encoded in a multi-layer perceptron. A novel view can then be synthesized with volume rendering. NERD and Neural Pill extend this approach by optimizing a reflectance volume instead of radiance. This enables relighting as in our method. However, NERF, NERD, and Neural Pill require ground truth camera poses to work. We created a challenging dataset of objects captured under different illumination and locations to mimic our practical problem setting of in the wild image collections. Here, COLMAP and other methods fail to recover poses, and the aforementioned methods such as NERD or Neural Pill cannot work. In Samurai, we propose to jointly learn the camera poses, reflectance field, and illuminations. We solve this highly challenging and ill posed problem with several novel additions. We use a coarse to fine optimization schedule inspired by recent BARF technique and increase the resolution during training. The training process is visualized on the right, where we first learn the low frequency shape and then gradually increase the resolution during the training. We further propose to start with multiple initial camera estimates in a camera multiplex. We start with four random variants of an initial quadrant based pose initialization. We only want to allow the best current camera to optimize the neural field. We achieve this using a posterior loss scaling. All camera poses are optimized, and previously worse camera poses can become the new best camera pose. We also reduce the number of concurrent optimized cameras during the training. Only a single camera persists at the end of our course to find optimization. This posterior scaling is not only applied to the camera multiplex but also at an image level. This can reduce the influence of poorly aligned images or noisy segmentation masks on learning our neural reflectance field. In our practical problem setting, the cameras are not in equidistance to the object. To account for this, we also propose a flexible camera parametrization, where we define a volume bound around the coordinate system origin. We then need to detect the sampling range for a camera ray. We achieve this by casting an imaginary ray towards the origin and finding the intersection points with the spherical volume bounds. We then use the distance of the near and far points to sample points along the camera ray. For easy use in downstream graphics applications, we extract the explicit mesh with BRDF material properties from the learned neural volume. We first find the rough shape using marching cubes. Standard marching cubes usually introduce rather unpleasant staircase artifacts. So, we randomly sample points on the surface and cast rays toward them. We then UV unwrap this refined 3D mesh and extract BRDF textures from the learned volume. We now show some results. Here, we show the quality of our meshes compared with renderings directly from the neural field. As seen, our mesh extraction process does not degrade the quality. Compared with BARF, a recent state-of-the-art method in joint refinement of camera pose and radiance fields, our method can produce better reconstructions. Our advantage stems from the explicit material decomposition. The BRDF texture is static and not dependent on direction. In NERF, the output color is interpolated based on the view direction. As seen in the top, this works with a known camera pose. However, we can see that the texture can start to shift with unknown camera poses. Here, the unconstrained view direction conditioning entangles with the camera poses. 
Samurai also outperformed several other recent methods in these highly unconstrained settings with better results in both the scenes under single illumination or highly challenging scenes under multiple illuminations. Note that no existing method can handle the scenes with multiple illuminations while jointly optimizing the camera poses. So, as a baseline, we created a modified version of BARF with appearance conditioning. In summary, we propose the first method that can decompose in the wild unposed image collections into shape, BRDF, and illumination. Samurai achieves state-of-the-art performance compared to related prior art, and we show that the explicit shape and BRDF decomposition is beneficial for camera pose recovery. We achieve this using our novel course define optimization with camera multiplex and the posterior loss scaling. We also introduce a flexible camera and volume parametrization for varying camera distances. Thank you for watching. See the paper for more details.